So we do our live panel show where I play videos. Everybody's funny. Rob Schneider was on that panel. Um, Sam Tripoli, Steph, and Kurt. And um, uh, we had quite a... So we had a guy in the front row who was wearing a MAGA hat, right? And at one point, he um, he had an outburst where he was... Uh, we were We were criticizing Trump we were saying the problem with Trump was he listened to all the wrong people in his first term, which he did. Mm-hmm. And um, so this guy got mad. He started yelling, saying he's the only one who can get us out of this. He's the only one who has a plan. He understands it now and stuff like this. And so we calmed him down. And I made the point, well, he did listen to the wrong people because RFK Jr. talked him into having a panel on vaccine safety uh, in, the, in, the, in Congress. And then Bill Gates says, no, that would be a bad thing. That's a direct quote. And uh, so he didn't. He listened to Bill Gates. So yeah. that would actually be a great thing, because what would we learn? We'd learn that vaccines are safe and effective. <laughs> right. right. What, what, what are you afraid That's to find so, out? It's only going to help. It would only help. It would only make people more believe in vaccines. So anyway, so after that, then we had a, a guy who's a legit Marxist. He got angry uh, because Sam Tripoli said something about the Bolshevik revolution and um Rob Schneider said something about nobody swimming to Cuba. So I'm going to show you that right now. Are you, are you trying to discourage me from doing a live show? So, because I, I already put down the money. No, this doesn't. This to me, this, this is the greatest <laughs> thing that's ever happened in my career. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. So let's watch this. Yeah, and it just gets into the, the theory of something is worse than what's actually happening on the streets. The thought of what Trump could do is 10 times worse than crime everywhere, fentanyl everywhere, jobs lost, immigration is just insanity. I mean, we're all the descendants of some immigrant at some time. OK, we there's nothing wrong with come to America. But when you're flooding it, it's it's a Bolshevik revolution. And for Bill Maher. Who, wrong with the Bolshevik revolution. So now we, I had a Marxist who screamed, there's nothing wrong with a Bolshevik revolution. So did you hear him? So he so now he's going to start screaming. And here we go. Mm. Oh, oh, this is the best. Let me tell you. Hey, you are Patrick, complete. Don't do this. Let's just say, no, Never no, don't, go don't. fully retarded, sir, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, one, oh, great. Oh, great. no one is swimming. Larry David's upset. Oh, God. No one is swimming the... I'm sorry. The Bolshevik Revolution was great. You're right. Hey, right. no it one is... great. Oh, 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 okay. So the guy that was in charge. So then the 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 the, the Marxist uh-huh. guy yelled, "Yeah, the Bolshevik Revolution got uh-huh. Stalinized." So he's saying the Bolshevik Revolution would have been good if it wasn't for Stalin. I think that's what he's saying. Now I'm not smart enough to know anything about this, so uh-huh. let's just keep it going. I do read it all the time. Okay, I I'm have the, the hey. No, hey, no one is swimming the 80 miles from Miami to get to fucking Havana, you know, because of the cute. Be- not the Cuban, but communism doesn't fucking work. Communism doesn't work. I'm telling you. So that guy's screaming, how stupid are you? He say the, the box is screaming at us. How stupid are you? Right. Uh, there's, and, like, there's like a comment section come to life. This is like a comment section come to life. Watch this. It keeps going. Hold on, I want this guy to fight this guy. Let's go. (laughs) So Sam Tripoli says, I want this guy, there's a a MAGA guy, to fight that guy. So we had a, so to me, (laughs) to me, that's, I'm very proud that, look look who the people who bought a ticket. I have a Marxist Mm -hmm. guy who's a pro-Bolshevik, bought a Mm -hmm. ticket to my show, bought a ticket, didn't watch it on you, but actually bought a ticket. And a MAGA guy also bought a ticket to my show. That tells me I'm doing something right. Because I'm uh-huh. the message of this sure. show is that it isn't left right anymore. It's us against them. It's top we, and down. It's not yep. left or right. It's all over. Because the people who can, are considered lefties are complete what they used to consider right wing, which is authoritarian, pro war, pro censorship, anti freedom, anti choice. Right. Um, right. Those are all things we used to consider right wing. And now all those right wingers are anti war. Pro-choice, anti-censorship. It's crazy how things flip. So it's not a left-right thing anymore. It's us against them. It's it's not left-right. It's right against wrong. And so that's what makes me very proud that those two people find something in my mm-hmm. show enough to right. buy a ticket to come see it, mm-hmm. not to just watch a video, 
but right. to actually be invested and come out. And so now watch watch what happens. Case fight. Case fight. <laughs> Mario uh, versus Rita. Hold on. This guy's not taken out. This guy just got going to the The revolution. Show. I can stand up, too. I can stand up, too. I have wait, a microphone. No, wait. So the Mark Six Bolshevik guy is standing and he won't sit down or he's screaming and he's not stopping. And that's why Rob says, and here's the MAGA guy. He has a St. Patrick's Day MAGA hat, which is gorgeous. Here we go. <laughs> hey, wait. I, 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 hold on. Let's hold on. Take hold on. Well, let's I have to get control of the, the show. The revolution, your revolution when didn't it, work because capitalism improved the lives of workers and their families. I do to sleep, please. please. Okay, hold on. Hold on for a second. Capitalism did for a second. work more. I agree. No, if, if, they, if, they thought, if they thought that Cuba wouldn't work, why do they have to put sanctions on it? Why don't they let it just fall apart on its yeah, own? Yeah, I know. The I reason is that they're afraid it will work, and that's why they have to fuck with So I'm with you on Cuba. Oh, no, no, no. So, hey, but uh, the Bolshevik thing, I don't know anything about, so I can't help you. Do you know Cuba can't even afford homeless people you have to go. <laughs> oh, you got So Kurt makes the joke, you know Cuba people can't even afford homeless homeless people because I guess he went to Cuba and he expected to see homeless people and you don't see them there because everybody has health care. Everybody has education, right. but right. we sanction the hell out of those people economically. Right. right. Okay. Right. Oh, thank oh. you. So, that, I so that guy got up. So there's the Bolshevik guy, the Marxist, and he gets up and I go, I don't know anything about it. He comes over, hands me two books. You just walk around with Marxist books. <laughs> that's what I'm, that's how you know he's a real Marxist. So he hands me two books uh, on Marxism, and he gives it to. He goes, "Hey, you can read this." I thought he was coming over to hit me, yeah, but he came over and he handed me a couple of books. Here we go. Thank you, brother. Thank See, you. I helped you. I think we all saw that coming. I love that the guy. <laughs> I think we all knew a self-written book was at the end. I agree that the, and the, 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 the whole blockade of Cuba is stupid. I agree with that. I agree listen, that that's listen, stupid. Dude. But the oh, workers... I'm a Bolshevik, and I say fuck the Bolshevik. Hey, the, the, Russia, the revolution... Is, the revolution didn't work. Listen, the revolution... It, Honestly, it, communism man, doesn't improve all, the life of people. All of it, none of it, capitalism or the communism the works because the people at the top don't want either of them to work. So he's making the point that Russ and I was making in the last segment that it's funny how capitalism and communism kind of end up in the same place if you let them go long enough and capitalism ends up eating itself. And instead of having competition, it becomes one big company, which is what we have now in uh, communications and media. And we have only yep. there's only two companies that make air, airplanes. There's all, so this, you know, you have this idea, you have this illusion of choice. Is what George Carlin used to talk about, and so we're in end stage capitalism where it takes over the regulatory agencies, and now you can't trust anything. We and everything's falling apart from planes to bridges to the uh, shipping to uh, anyway. So so Sam is kind of making that point right there, and. Capitalism started right now well here because they built up the country. But the end, the people at the top wanted to the, look what they did to Germany. Look what they did to Russia. Okay. All right, you know what? I want to step in. No one's reading Hold on. Shit. Hold on. I want to step in right now. Shut up. Stop. 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 Wait, stop. 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 I want to say thank you to the Bolshevik guy for giving a gift. We didn't get a gift from you, MAGA guy. The gift he gives. <laughs> so when the MAGA guy gets up and gives me his hat, oh, it's just. The gift he gives from communism is enslavement for the entire planet. Thank you for that gift. Thank you so much. A hundred million Chinese dead. Thank all right, you. Now let's get back to. Let, all right. All right. You. I agree with you, though. So Rob, Rob Snyder, that guy, Rob was driving that guy crazy. So that, so as soon as I get him calmed down, Rob would stick him again like he just did, and that guy would start up again. And so mm -hmm. now the guy gets out of yep, his seat. I know the time. And he's going to go over to the MAGA guy, and I think they're going to, well, well, I think they're going to fight. Here, watch out. I agree Jimmy with agrees you. with you. Have a seat. I, I, on. I will beat him up later. <laughs> Don't you have to be up with Marty McFly? Sit down, Back to the Future. <laughs> Oh, he kind of does look a little bit like that. The well, people who get in the Federal Reserve. All right. Be free. This seems so. Now he starts screaming. The MAGA guy starts screaming about the Federal Reserve, and he's got a point mm -hmm. about the Federal Reserve. The more I right. learn about the Federal Reserve, the more I realize how fucked up it is. 
It's a. Do you know it's private? It's not government. Did you know that? Yes, mm -hmm. I did. Okay, I didn't. I do now. But watch this. I go. These are your fucking fans. I, I, I did this. I did this. My apologies. I hope you're happy, Sam. <laughs> Okay. Oh, right. you're making me look bad. You're making I'm me with look you bad. on that. I am I so. Isaac Cappy. Okay. Yeah, let's get I am back so to... glad I don't have my own oh, podcast. <laughs> all right. Let's get back to something we can all agree upon. Why isn't this room hotter? <laughs> I want a hotter room and more out of that guy in this guy. It was totally worth it. The whole By the way, you guys should start a podcast. I would oh, watch that. I would watch that. I would that. listen to that podcast. That is a podcast. That is a podcast I would listen to. If the uh, MAGA and a Marxist guy started that, that this is what uh, mm -hmm. it's funny. That this is would what, be kind of awesome. That would be kind of awesome. Uh, Haas and Jackson Hinkle have been talking about a thing called MAGA communism, and there it is, right there. But let's watch. Turn up. Turn down. Here we go. Oh man, oh, rage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. So he comes over. There it is. There's the Marxist guy. And he comes over. The Larry, he looks a little bit like Larry David. Yeah, I was going to say Larry David. And he yeah, comes over. More the McFly. Yeah. He comes over. And I didn't see that he came over with his hand out, but he did. And I think maybe they agree on the Federal Reserve. Maybe that was their coming mm -hmm. together point. Yeah, and so yeah. watch this. I think they're going to fight. And this is what happens. Bring your people together. Hug it out. <laughs> Whoa, get a room, guys. <laughs> Now, where in the hell else is something like that going to happen? Where a Bolshevik Marxist and a MAGA guy come together and hug it out? No, I, I'm going to say, and this might be me bragging, but only at a Jimmy Dore show. No. I, I don't know where else that's going to happen. But it happened at a Jimmy Dore show. And that makes me so proud that that happened. That this guy... Who get, and I've been trying to get a hold of this guy, by the way. Uh, I, I, he gave me two books with phone numbers in them. I've called both of them. They go to law offices that aren't his. He's a, he's supposed to be a lawyer. Um, and then this <laughs> well, guy's he, a mocking guy. He might have bought and, him secondhand. Say it again? He might have bought him secondhand. Maybe. But he did. Uh, I've, I started to read some of the stuff. He There's this thing on immigration that he gave me. It's a paper. It's like four or five uh, pa 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 typewritten pages. It was very enlightening about immigration and about the Immigration mm -hmm. Naturalization Act and all that stuff that Reagan did and what the real purpose of it was and the real reason why they want immigrants here. I, I had a I know the real reason why they want to have uh, elite uh, or as you call them undocumented or we used to call them illegal aliens. People who come here, they want them here because then they can't organize because so if they could so if they could organize, uh, that would be bad for business, but they can't. They can't right. join you. Just they can't do this. And if they if they protest, they'll kick them out of the country because they're illegal. And exactly. that's a, that's a big reason why the borders open right now and why they're flying. Joe Biden's flying in uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, illegal Im immigrants. So well, we we covered the Tyson story the other day, and we're going to cover and, that um, next. I did a little bit about um, how they bring in uh, legally. They bring in people from South America and Central America on visas and part of the reason they want a foreign workforce is because you have meatpacking plants where people can't talk to each other because they're speaking 40 different languages and they can't organize they can't organize exactly right. so this makes me super proud that this happened this is the quintessential thing that i would want to have happen at a jimmy door show when people to ask about my audience they go i go there's everybody there's everybody from far i go we have maga people we have hippies we have old people we have young people we have white we have black we have uh we have union organizers i have uh business owners uh we have it's a cross section of america it is a it is like when i used to go see when i went to see george carlin I was super impressed with this. The thing I noticed the most about George Carlin was his audience. His audience was exactly the same. He had all different stripes of people from all different. I saw mm. none there. There was, I oh, mean, wow. there was all kinds of people at his show. And wow. that that's what I got to see Carlin live. I'm very jealous. I was, that's what I was the most proud of, uh, of mm. anything. I was the most proud of that. Uh, and and of this and that my show brings people together. They don't. They realize they're not the enemy. 
But if you listen to the news, the corporate news, the corporate newspaper, the 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 politicians, they want you to be suspicious of your neighbor. They want you to mm-hmm. blame your neighbor for the economic pain you're feeling. And it's not your neighbor. Everybody's suffering under the same bullshit uh, economics. And it's yep. a billionaire class, WEF run uh, yep. bullshit uh, economics that favors the rich. And and a handful of billionaires who pull the strings. And just like during COVID, they, we made billionaires, but everybody else got flattened. Yep. Uh, yep. So that's the that's it being accelerated. And these well, both these guys, I'll guarantee you, want the wars to end. And they want yep. to invest that money back in our country. And I bet you they both want health care that doesn't bankrupt us. And I bet they both want infrastructure. Uh, so I bet you that's like three things they can agree on right there. Well, um, you know... Uh, and they want to get rid of the Fed. It looks like they both want to get rid of the Fed. Uh, which, this, the more I hear about the Fed, the more I want to get rid of it, too. Go ahead, Russ. Uh, there's this guy, uh, Keaton, I work with. And uh, he he has a lot to say about this that's very wise. He won't engage in uh, arguments about theory, communism versus uh, other systems. Um, and he's right. His argument is like every every system is going to fail over a long enough time period. And we're so far from instituting anything like these kinds of systems. That's that that's purely in the clouds. It's just not even worth getting in the weeds on these things. Now, I feel that it's worth trying to figure out where you want to go. Um, so I think it's worth dipping your toe into it. But I think he's right that a lot of people obsess on this, and it's a distraction from meaningful, tangible, right in front of you, real world goals, or it can be. Yes. All, also, something that he points out that he, I think he's very right about is uh, if you're going to talk about the deaths that communism is responsible for, which, as far as I'm concerned, is fair enough, well, you need to talk about the deaths that capitalism is responsible for to just argue no capitalism has been great for workers is really not to acknowledge the true history of capitalism and it's certainly not to look in the face where capitalism has brought us now at a moment when planes are falling apart trains are derailing boats are taking down bridges and you have to look at what we've done overseas our wars of imperialism how many millions of people have the Chinese killed overseas? I, I I'm not aware of millions of people being killed by the Chinese overseas. And and yes, I'll be the first person. I'm not one of these apologists. I, I think you know there's a the conversation that's erupted because of three body problems shows a scene of the Cultural Revolution in China at the beginning, based on a real incident where a professor was beaten to death. And you have some of these people come out. No, well, well, he deserved it. I mean, that that's that's just moronic. But it's also moronic when you're looking at countries like Russia and countries like China that really are not responsible for millions and millions of deaths. And you're American. Come on, man. What are you talking about? How do you know a thing by what it does? So if the communists are responsible for those deaths, are we responsible for all the deaths in Iraq? for the deaths caused by our proxy state israel are we are we going to take response the deaths in cambodia in vietnam and laos are those deaths that capitalism is responsible for because i would argue that they are and people would say the covid deaths uh which some people have uh said it's uh in the millions um is responsible not from covid but from covid policy Right. Um, and that's be- that was dictated by capitalists. That didn't come from science. The, m- m- none of that stuff came from science. Right. There was no right. science to a- everything they did to mitigate it. There was no science behind any of it. Just so you know, even though they right. say there was, there wasn't. Right. And, Pfizer did very well. And, and Pfizer and Moderna made hundreds of billions of dollars. And... Uh, it was the largest upward transfer of wealth in human history, COVID. Yep. So uh, back to this. Uh, that's what I'm most proud of. And so uh, 
I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, that was like, it was as if I had dreamed it. It was as if that I was living in a dream. That was real. That really happened. Yeah, that's, that's so, a great moment. That's, uh, that's a big moment for the Jimmy Dore Show. Hey, come see us do a live stand-up show. We're going to be in Stockholm, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, London, Oslo, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, Cortland, New York, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, El Paso, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, Edmonton, Alberta, Vancouver, Jeez. British Columbia, and Denver, Colorado. Go to JimmyDore.com for a link for those tickets. Mm -hmm.